Shopberry. Good morning. It is 40 degrees outside, and sorry to disappoint many of you when you look out the window this morning. No snow. But I schools are delayed. Some the areas. only flakes I've seen is a couple guys walking in the studio this morning. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank you all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM, and as Gloria just told you, no snow. I was just watching yes. in Huntsville. Big boy stations run those crawls. Schools delayed today for two hours due to weather. What weather? <laughs> Unless there's unless it's snowing in the shows here right now, and I've not been informed, they're the ones that are delayed to and oh, showing up <laughs> right now for the first time in many many years. The legendary, the one and only Bob Robert Bobby Labby <laughs> showing up. Yeah, uh -huh. we'll check in with him in just a moment. He's back in action. Barry Kay's also here, and the three Stooges join me this morning: Matthew, Tom, and Greg. <laughs> Glad to be wow. here this morning. Yeah, morning. Matthew, you got to be part of the show. Yeah, it's good. how was Hooters yesterday, Tom? It was great. <laughs> Man, they got great food there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. We'll check. Excited. Yeah, Big we'll check with Bobby just a moment until he's got a special interview he did with Rolando McLean, so we'll talk about that coming up. Hey, he bought a house near my church. Yeah. That's not going to affect church services any, is it? Probably better. What's up, Johnny Cash? <laughs> the man in black. Walk over here where I can see you, Bobby. My old longtime buddy. Who is he? Back in, well, he couldn't be here. So Bob Labby filling in this morning. We'll talk to you about with Bobby in just a second. Oh, wow. It's been a long while. You've gotten older. I certainly have, and wider. Wider. Yeah. All around. Hey, Gloria and I, yesterday was over at uh, Anna Franklin's Rodeo Stars tonight and tomorrow night at Celebration Arena in Priceville. So we'll uh, keep you all informed about that. We saw my old buddy Curtis. Jamie Cooper Show, 6 a.m., four days a week, Country Rovers on Mondays. But anyway, Special Needs Rodeo was yesterday, and it was mighty chilly over there, but uh, all the deputies and policemen, all super crowd over there. Big, big turnout, wouldn't you say? Definitely. Here's Gloria with the weather to tell you how it ain't going to snow. And you know what? As cold as it was yesterday, actually, it was colder yesterday morning than it is this morning, but all smiles yesterday at the Morgan County uh, Special Needs Rodeo, so that was a lot of fun. We'll have video coming up of that shortly during the show today. 40 degrees out there right now, but yes, we will see some flurries more than likely, but it's going to be a rainy day today. 60% chance of rain, 47 for that high, so don't. Count on much or any sun, I guess you could say today. Tomorrow, 70% chance of rain, just a rainy, rainy weekend. So just be prepared for that. Get a lot of things done in the house, I guess. And then hopefully Sunday, the rain will leave us by the afternoon hours. And then next week, temperatures in the 50s. Spring and it's 50. What do you think, I Matthew? Know. I'm looking for those 80s, man. Last, last week, week at this time, yes. I was at Gulf Shore down at the Beach Club. Mm -hmm. Laid out like a Beach whale. Fat whale, yeah, <laughs> beach whale. <laughs> I got like, yeah, that's going to walk the beach again. No, I'm You're tired of walking the beach. The beach. You, you, need to be on the you beach. know, the beach club, I, I give them a free mm -hmm. plug here, but uh, they didn't give me a free room. But <laughs> that is a beachy atmosphere, wouldn't you agree, Matthew? Yeah, we yes. enjoy the beach club. I mean, it's nice, and you know, there's not a lot of people Indeed. there. Yeah, yeah. So. you can see a lot of celebrities when you go there. Right, oh, yeah. yeah, that's probably the first time I ever saw Jamie Cooper in person was at the beach club. <laughs> was it? So, yeah. Are you that guy asked me for that autograph? No. Uh, probably wouldn't. That guy. We saw we, we, got, hey, we saw Rick and Bubba, not Rick and Bubba. Saw Bubba the other day while we were down there. Oh really? Yeah. Because he was celebrating his birthday too. There. He oh, is. there he is, right there. His birthday was Sunday. Which mm -hmm. one's him? That's me on the right. He's the one with the hat. Yeah, he's the one with the hat on. Fine. Said he when they got he grew up in Gaston. They finally got cable over there. It had Channel 31 on. <laughs> me and little Bob Labby was on over there. What's the yeah. deal with your hair down there? What's the difference? It was flat. It was flat. <laughs> Thanks, Greg, for bringing that up. <laughs> Let me give a shout out to the lady that gave me my hand made this for me. This is an Alabama stocking you all didn't know. She'll be in the video, too. Yeah, she'll be in the video later on this morning. Love to watch RTV, ZTV, 24 7. The real Got nothing else to do, I don't guess. But anyway, favorites. let's talk about that. Greg, you got to bend this open. It. We'll talk more about it in a minute. Arctic Chill is misspelled here, but Arctic Chill frozen <laughs> yogurt and paper this morning. Imagine that. The that paper opens up a week something. from tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let me ask you a personal question about this business, Greg. <laughs> in the wintertime, how do you stay open? Well, <laughs> they say it's just as much. I've talked to them at different locations. It's just as busy in the wintertime as it is summer. Really? I can't believe he asked that because yesterday at the special needs rodeo, as cold as it was, there were so many people walking around with little ice scoops yep. and eating I ice. And I was like, oh, how are you doing eating it? We'll have that video coming up in just a moment. We'll hear from Barry Kay. Uh -huh. Alabama, it's good, it's good. we'll talk with Bob Labby about this too this morning. It's hired Bill. Looks like they're going to hire Bill, Bill Battle. Battle. Yeah. This, Bobby, I believe, has been in the works for some months, don't oh, you? Yeah. Al's been sick for a 
Now, he is first cousins with Tommy Battle, the mayor of Huntsville. Uh -huh. He got a, a Huntsville Times reporting that this morning. Archie Manning and Connery Challoway each saying that you could not have hired a better person than Bill Battle. But Bobby will have Good. more information on that coming up in just a little bit. We'll talk more. His first initial thoughts were no, but then yeah. after talking to everyone, yes. Hey, the Decatur Daily's got an article this morning. You know, Jordan played baseball for Athens, what, several years? Mm -hmm. They got a kid up in, up in Ardmore. He's a uh, sophomore junior. He's committed to play at Vandy. Get this. Hard, hard, you heard about him, Tom? Mm -hmm. He is averaging, Matthew, two and a half strikeouts an inning. Wow. wow. An inning. It's amazing. Six foot two, 215 pound, Ardmore High Junior. He has struck out 58, got 58 strikeouts in 23 innings of pitches. Huge fat check on the way. Mm -hmm. If he don't mess his arm up with the Right. Wow. Isn't he a lefty? Yeah. yeah. They say that's hard, highly unusual. It doesn't say here Good for uh, him. how fast he throws the ball, but man. Baseball players are getting Let paid. Let me tell you, that fast else. ain't nothing. We, I coached the All-Star Tournament, and I had a little boy, a 10-year-old, was pitching in the 60s to 70s. And we played at Priceful, and I had to pull him out and put one in pitch about 20 or 30, and they couldn't hit him at all. <laughs> My How old was he? He was 10 year old. Throwing a ball like that? Man. Did you sign Left him up So, what happened to Roger Clements after you got the game? <laughs> <laughs> he made a name for himself. He was a good ball player. <laughs> Went on yeah. to play and do great yeah, what happened? Yeah. To, what happened to him after you got through coaching? All right, Matthew, let's talk a little bit about the race. We'll hit, try to hit it more later on. What's, what's happening and how do people register? Yeah, April 6th. Sign up online at cfaraceseries.com or then come by the store and pick up a registration form. So. Uh, but looking for, for, for a big day. So we'll have a, a one mile fun run, a 5K, and a 10K this year. So should have something for just about any distance that you want to want to try to do. We'll have something for you. So we we'll also have games and stuff. That's two for weeks kids. from tomorrow? Two weeks two from weeks. tomorrow. So downtown. It'll be warmer. We're going to right. cater the that's ice right. cream to them. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> hey, you, are, you high, are you hooked in this deal yet? <laughs> that sounds like you a good idea. Ice cream, no <laughs> idea. We do actually do ice cream. You don't have yogurt, yeah. though. I do not have yogurt. So. There's an open plate. Yeah, there you go. Can I mop your floor? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know, I'm we'll thinking about later. <laughs> I, I, was, I was toying with the idea of taking up smoking. And I, my makeup got Well, I can tell you, up, I so. shot that thought well, down yeah, real quick. I got, got this shot here of me smoking this pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my makeup got kind of. Hey, speaking of, uh, I have to do another birthday shout out to Y'all go down to Walmart a lot. Y'all know Pam at Walmart? She's you big will when you see her. You know? Well, today's her birthday. Happy birthday, Pam. There she is. That's me on the right. Uh, <laughs> well, there's Pam, one of my favorite Huge people at Walmart. The only, thing, the only thing wrong with her, she sleeps, eats, and breathes Auburn tires. <laughs> well, I mean, really. But y'all have seen her at Walmart, I know. She's one of the friendliest people you'd ever have. Happy birthday, she Pam. She is. Enjoy your nightlife. Enjoy your birthday. All right, what, uh, what other pictures we got? Oh, you also oh, have wonderful. Curtis. Curtis, oh. we won't get to show you in yeah, the video, Curtis. but looking good, Curtis. Yeah. Good to see him. And, yeah, that's, that's me on the right. Uh, <laughs> got an interview with Curtis J. Giles over there. Watch the Jamie Cooper show. And I want to do, Bobby, you probably didn't know this. Let me do Sad uh, news. Sad news. I saw this on Facebook this morning. Our great friend Harlan Hill passed away last night. Yes, uh, Harlan, one of the all-time great. In the place of the Chicago Bears, didn't he, Frank? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Harlan's claim to fame, the story he told, he used to do our show in Florence <laughs> a lot, but he was big buddies with uh, this guy that started Discovered Elvis. What was his name, Bobby? Sam Phillips. Parker. Sam Phillips. Sam Phillips. Well, he had, uh, what was the studio he had in Memphis? Fame. Our son's son's studio. studio. Yeah, son's studio. Well, Harlan had a problem back in those days drinking. No. Yeah. <laughs> he, he shared did. some great stories. So he came stuff. in there drunk one day, and his grandson was up here the other day and the yeah. they played on the show. And he said, uh, Sam said, Harlan, you're going to have to leave. It's what, probably in the 50s, early 60s? Harlan says, no, I ain't leave. Yeah, you got to get out of your drunk. Well, We're he trying got to mad. That. He goes to the water fountain. Water fountain. <laughs> what, Is your that? memory good? Puts his arms around it and yanks it right out of the concrete floor. <laughs> Yanked he, it out he, of the floor. He also wanted to slap Shannon Sharp yeah, one day, too, <laughs> when he was not drinking. Anyway, Harlan Hill, great, great uh, bowling shows there, passed away. Great <laughs> athlete over that way, too. Anything else y'all got to say before we go to some music? 
You are ready. Barry Kay is I'm here. Barry, Barry Kay has warmed, warmed up and said, I can't wait to get me 10 pieces of chicken to put in my pocket before I leave here today. Thank Let's go like. local and loving it on a Friday morning. We'll talk to Bob Blabby in just a moment, too. He's back in action, the man in black. But right now, let's hear from our all-time greatest entertainer world. Well, that guy couldn't be here. Stop so it. instead, we got Barry Kay, the only Classical guy that stuck with us through thick and thin. How many years you been here, Barry? <laughs> About eight or nine. You still getting a check? Yeah, you pay me. You pay me triple what you used to pay me. Yeah. Locally <laughs> loving it, y'all. Hang on. A little duet with me and the doggy. Zorro. Pajama rolled out of bed as she ran to the police station. When the papa found out, he began to shout and started the investigation. It's against the law. It was against the law. What the mama saw it was against the law. The mama looked down and spit on the ground every time my name gets mentioned. Papa said, oh, if I get that boy, I'm gonna stick him in the house of detention. And I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going. I'm on my way. Taking my time and I don't know where. Goodbye to Rosie, the queen of Corona. I see you, me and Julio down by the schoolyard. I see you, me and Julio down by the schoolyard. They come and take me away, but the press let the story leak. When the radical priest come to get me released, we is all on the cover of Newsweek. Now I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going. On my way. Taking my time, and I don't know where. Goodbye to Rosie, the queen of Corona. I see you, me and Julio, down by the schoolyard. Me and Julio down by the schoolyard. 